the first street of my scrapping today, there's a grill right there. Let's get it. Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. This one had a wreck. And it's a little Japanese fighting biting beetle. You want to go to the scrapyard, little bug? You do? Okay. Bye. in the neighborhoods in the morning. Are good is that trash is that trash now if that's flat tires rusted chain or missing chain things like that I know it's trash now this bike looks like it has everything on it. no it's missing a pedal <laughs> yeah so I know that this is out here in the trash so yep. get in the truck that's how I can tell if items are trash or not are they trashed stay are they um, inoperable and is it garbage day and usually garbage morning is um, so I mean it's almost 7 a.m. and are there people out riding bicycles missing a pedal no nope they're not some geese out here let's go this way you hear them honking I can hmm. there's some morning pickers looking at stuff I see some goodies Hello, scrap goodness. How you doing? Right, a few scrap items. Is that a TV antenna? I think it is. Yep. Digital and analog antenna. Antennas don't know the difference between digital and analog. Because to them, it's all a signal coming in. Okay. Yeah, so just a couple of these lamp, these lamps, this lamp, one lamp. I don't know where the other one went. All right, getting to my truck. Ah, oh, come on! I have not used up my ten snaps yet. Stomp on this one. 
think I will. Oh, is this glass? Oh yeah. I don't want you. Oh, really? What's going on here? Oh. <laughs> That's what's going on. It smells so good. Is that some paraffin wax of some sort? Some cologne. Nice new candle. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna clip the cord here. Take this whole thing most likely. I like these little wax burners. It's going back. Okay, now we're done. So they had a yard sale. Let's see the little dollar uh, stickers. So yeah, I just clip the cords and it's all put away. I'm gonna leave the garbage can. Thanks folks. This stuff's getting recycled. Hey, can you come off easily? Or not? Guess not. Hey, it does come off. Yay. You're going back into the trash. Plastic. I wish all plastic was recyclable. Like you just put on a big old vat and it melts and we're good. It's just not reality. Most plastics never get recycled. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Sam. Looks like a baby gate. That's a smack-o-matic baby gate. Ready to take you out. It's falling apart. This would not be good for the tires. Plastic, plastic, no. Get the fan. Yep. This looks like a lot more plastic, so I'm leaving that, but I'm taking the 40 cents per pound insulated copper wire. And as you have seen, the garbage man is around the corner. So if anybody wanted this particular item or any other item that I take the cords off of, they've had all evening and all morning to do so. I just grab this stuff right before the garbage man shows up. As close as I can be. So I'm not taking it from someone that could use something that's useful. Makes sense. What's up there, Shadow Man? Don't go anywhere. I would really like for that to be in that little nook. I think it's too narrow though. Maybe. These things are not light, so it's like a stretch. Oh. Oh. 
Yes, I'm clipping the cord. I don't think I've clipped this many cords in the first half an hour of scrapping ever. Record breaking cord day. All right, dude. Need for you to cooperate. Nope. There's some math issues there. I see what I think I see. A lot of aluminum. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's, it's attached to steel. Never seen that before. Okay. Fine. Come with me. the tailgate hmm. probably should find a different home for that huh ah. wait a minute trying to escape that might be stainless steel on Paul hmm. my scrap is a little fluffy today Is there? Yeah, you're a lot of plastic. It's not what I want to give to my scrapyard. I want to give them higher quality shreddable scrap. This isn't even rusty. This bike. It's not. It has street tires on it, which I like. This might be a Paul bike. Yeah. I might keep you around, mister. 26 inch? Yep. Yeah. This looks a little less fluffy. Don't want the plate. Are you in there? Yep. Plate is gone. just in aluminum just because it's so thick yeah I'm gonna have to figure that out I know what I'm saying about figuring out one of the um, bolts and the nut is rusted the other one isn't here let me show you if I can so this one super rusty yeah, this one isn't. That one is. So that one's galvanized, which has a coating of zinc on it to keep it from rusting. Now, when I see a tub all torn apart like this, I like to stop just in case there's a bunch of copper in the trash. Nope, I don't see it. But 
Sometimes there is, but not in this case. I bet it's attached to something down there that's large and I can't get it out because it's underneath all of that stuff. That's my guess, unless you're praying for me. Hey, thanks for the prayers. You guys are awesome. Not for climbing, okay. Where are you going? Up, up, and away. <clears throat> Wonderful. Any other goodies? What is that? Is that potting soil? It is. And I need some potting soil for my plants at home. Really? What is that? It's a motor! In, in my truck! Oh my goodness. I can't quite pick it up. Oh wow. Silent thing. I bet it works too. Yep. Wow. Thanks, folks. Whew, that one beat me up. It's a lamp day. All right. God said, don't put your lamp under a bowl. Let it shine. All right. Let's let it shine. What about this one? Cordtastic day too. Cordtastic. All right, that was kind of a stretch, wasn't it? Is this an interesting pile or not? Mm -hmm. A couple of things, but all that stuff perched on top. They will be attached to something else, I don't know. We'll give it a little, quick little try of that. I'm gonna go vertical. What, go vertical? Vertical is my friend. There we go. Good. Let's do a quick walk around. Nope, we're good. in my truck bed frames. Without stepping into that hole. <laughs> I'm like walking all of a sudden, I'm like, Err, hey. All right, how vertical can we go? I don't know if there's anything left on this side. That's what I want. I have a feeling the rest of them are going to be tangled. So. Yeah, 
yeah, I might need to hit the shop and then the scrapyard pretty quick. Be quiet, Paul. People are sleeping. Hmm. Nah. Just kidding. Not sure quite where it's gonna go. Throw it on top. Wow, look at the spider webs. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I have a new passenger in my truck. Yeah. Charlotte has moved in. These rotors are still good. Look at that. Plenty of beef on them. <laughs> All right, mower. Ready to start it? It's down there somewhere. Huh. One step at a time. Oh, I'm gonna break shoe. drive with my tailgate down. I really don't. So I'm gonna throw it, literally. Now I'll tie a rope right Look at the size of this truck up here. Wow. Is that all aluminum? I don't know. That's a mess. All right. I'm going to guess 4,300 pounds on my fluffy-ish scrap load. Stop, honk, proceed, on green. Okay. And my weight is 4,440. Okay. Okay. Only scrapper here. Oh, he's moving out, so I think I'm gonna take his spot. If he moves quickly enough. Yep, sounds good. Right there.
and I weigh out at 4,040. So it was a 400 pound uh, run. Yeah, and so it's nine o'clock. So two hours. Thank you, God. Thank you for this time just to enjoy the day. Have some stress-free scrapping. Hmm. It's good for my heart, good for my soul. Thank you for that, God. Lord, I'm gonna pray specifically for those that are having a stressful day today. Lord, be with them in the name of Jesus. Send angels into their life to straighten up what's going on. God, this is your fight. This is not our fight. This is a fight in the spiritual realm that's just attacking us. And Lord, we need your help in that spiritual battle that's going on. It's not just of this world. It is supernatural. And we need supernatural help in the name of Jesus. Come into our lives and just fix things, God. Amen. Yeah, that might, I need a deep socket to get that off, I think. All right, so it's in the off position. Sorry, going to have some fan noise. Wow, works. Totally works. Now, if I wasn't so accident prone, I probably would hook it up to the wire stripper and engineer something. But I know myself after 50 something years of being on this planet. Yeah, I'd hurt myself. All right, so this is a Schwinn Skyliner Sun Tour. <laughs> What's up with these kickstands? They're all wonky, extra wonkified. Yeah, I think we got ourselves a keeper. So I just need a new set of pedals, unless this is stripped out. Um, probably, I like it. Requires two hands. off easily the cloth hey don't open up on me I'll never be able to get you closed I don't know the secret combination <clears throat> I 
That's not gonna stay. I'll bet it's gonna slip right out. You getting rid of all this? Thank you, sir. Anything metal, car batteries, wire. Got a whole bunch of car parts. Do ya? Yeah. Dude, I would love them. There's plastic on some of them. Yeah, as long as it's not more than like, I try to give my scrapyard stuff that's 70% metal or more. Okay. So. Yeah, I got a go. Cool, man. Right on, dude. Let's get this in there first. This one's a little bit lighter. Right on. Most excellent. Are you gonna race that? Actually, I'm getting rid of this. Oh, are you? Uh, I did race it though. Okay, cool. Um, is this gonna work? <laughs> it didn't work at all. This is awesome, man. I'll just wheel right over to the back of my truck if you don't mind. Wow, you ain't kidding, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, out on me. Really? Yeah. Had a guy come two days ago. I, uh, out here called Jamie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. And, uh, they just didn't, huh? Charging. What? Like, shit, yeah, we're, we're going to get paid. Thanks, man. I'll put the, I'll put the bin back up in your grass. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that was a good stop with those car parts. It's metal. That's an old school skateboard right there. That's not metal. This is Santa's workshop. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, those car parts were very, very oily. So, uh, yeah, see my gloves are sitting over there. I mean, they got, they got pretty mangled. That's for sure. So I'm gonna leave them right there until I have to offload. Um, yeah, like some of the stuff is dripping. Um, yeah, you see the, there's antifreeze right there from something over here. I think this is an all aluminum radiator. So that's gonna go right into the shred pile. Yep. Yeah, everything except for the rotors, right into the shred pile. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, these gloves got kermangled. I think I'm gonna have to soak those in dishwashing liquid trying to separate the oil because I don't want to put that in a washing machine nope I do not want car oil in a clothes washing machine yeah just yelled want some steel I'm like yes sir all right wonderful thank you
Right on. There's a couple pounds. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right. Well, okay. Thanks. Oily. Okay. I got my old oil gloves in the back of the truck. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, all right. All right. Have a good day. All right, take care. The free sign. That or it says 100 bucks on it. What's it say? Not garbage. Not today, anyway. Okay. Um. Okay. Good <laughs> frame kind of day as well. Good day bed frames. So this is the new addition on the Egyptian theater. There used to be a bunch of dumpsters right where this is. Yep, a whole, whole bunch of dumpsters. So they just moved it over to this side. Hey, it's a pallet. People have been asking about pallets and my main pallet buyer went out of business and so my current pallet buyer only buys premium pallets so this one wouldn't wouldn't uh, fly um, he said he'll take them for free but he won't pay for them and only two bucks for a perfect pallet so but so i've been uh, selling my pallets on marketplace online and uh yeah not doing so hot lately How's this? Yeah, so this goes that way. <clears throat> Do I kick it? Probably. <clears throat> that should go down because that's on the inside. <clears throat> he wants to take me out, I can tell. <clears throat> I'm going to guess the exact same way. 4,440. We shall see. And the weight is? <laughs> 4,440. Seriously. Oh, 4,420. 4,440. So it fluctuated. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, I get a kick out of myself. Wow. You can tell prices are going up. She's a viewer, um, and she's there with her grandfather and her son, Rick, um, that has his own scrapping business. That's right. See, this is why I like having a small truck. You can just sneak into little places. All right, you know, I think I'm gonna do a cash out. Um, yeah, and we'll, so we'll see how much I got just in shred steel for today. And then, um, yeah. And I think I'll do no music, no fast forward on this. So this will be uh, just, just us doing our scrap time. Oh, wait a minute. I want the other gloves, my greasy gloves on. Where my greasy gloves go? There's one. Man. I found this pole, my camera actually shut off. So I didn't capture this. I had to replace my battery. But this was right next to where I got the bed frames. Um, actually, the camera turned off as I was getting these bed frames. So. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Let's 
see how this is just aluminum and steel. Sure, file. Yeah, offloading actually is probably more dangerous, I think, than uh, out scrapping. Because things can fall and all kinds of yeah, stuff has shifted. Like this uh, deer kind of stopping everything from coming out properly. No rotor. Get back in the truck. Now here's where it gets a little precarious. Is this kind of stuff bonking me? Hey. What is this? It's super heavy. stuff down. It's a bit frustrating. Wonder how long this will stay right here. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of why I don't like doing auto parts. Because I'm going to have to wash out the truck and it's gonna like cost money because now it's like I can't put groceries back here can't even have to move someone's couch you know but regular scrap good dumpster ladder wouldn't it be able to climb in and out of a dumpster This is why I fast forward it. It's boring to me. 
Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. These gloves might actually get tossed. So yeah, that's probably why Mr. Brown doesn't want to pick up the auto parts. If you're gonna thrash gloves, you gotta clean out everything. You're doing a lot of complaining, Paul. getting oily. No way. Not with auto oil. Is that tranny fluid? It looks red. So the only thing I kept were those four rotors. Thirty-nine forty. So that was five hundred pounds. So thirty-nine forty to forty forty forty-one forty-two forty-three forty-four forty. Five hundred pounds, maybe four eighty. Matters how they uh, calculated it. All right, let's go cash out. Yeah, and thanks for everyone that uh, has, has bought merchandise and. The PayPal tip jar. Thank you for that. I got a few uh, tips, and uh, it's appreciated. And the merchandise. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I'm a scrapper, if I'm a salesman of coffee mugs. I'm a masked salesman of coffee mugs. All right, let's go cash out. Okay, paso amigo. Last run for the day? Yeah, man. Yep, last one. So I'll cash hey, is out. Is that your logo on your map? Yeah, it is. Can you see it? What, um, what inspired <laughs> that? Um, it was supposed to be initially the caution tape that's on the back of like um, power uh, utility trucks. But then I couldn't get it to work quite right. And then it just kind of morphed into this. Hmm. Yeah, like on the back of a truck, it has a caution tape of like orange and yellow. Yeah. So that's where I wanted to make it, but it kind of mushed down and it was a little bit too fat. And then YouTube had a circle around it. And I'm like, I like that better than my actual logo. And so I, cr I made it a circle around it too. Okay. And then YouTube made it a circle over the circle, which made it even cooler. Nice. Yeah. I wish it was some grand like thing, but no, it's just a series of happy accidents. Yeah, I think it looks good. <laughs> looks pretty, um, pretty modern. Cool, man. A 50. 57 bones. I will see you tomorrow, probably. Um, any plans this weekend? Um, none that I know of. Okay. But uh, that's how I just live my life. Nice. I'll see you, man. Well. Uh-oh, here comes the big truck. Whoa. 
A little bit more, there you go. That's a scrap truck. I bet you're driving this to the neighborhood just throwing scrap in the back. <laughs> All right, so $130 in that ton. The first run was $31. The second run was 20, sorry, first run was 26 bucks. Second run was 31 bucks. Yeah, sweet deal. So total of 880 pounds today. And of course I got the bicycle and the rotors and a bunch of wire. Uh, thank you, Lord. You are good. So I want to praise you and just, we just want to rest in your love. In the name of Jesus, amen.